hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we are looking at at the game factorio here i'm going to show you one of my smart supply typo station so normally nowadays people try to make the you know like auto requester and auto supply typo kind of thing so there is only supply station requester station and depot station and everything is having same kind of name something like that so this is the smart supply station that i designed for my game uh, what it can do uh, it can send uh, whatever coming on this you know like if you put the, let's say this is my mining post and i'm getting some sort of you know like stuff over here uh, for example let's go and let me go and add uh, one second uh, let's say there is some sort of stuff we are producing over here uh, not like that uh, where it is the stones or something like that we can so it will automatically calculate uh, the things that how much uh, you know like how much uh, is the stack size and according to that how much it's going to So it is for the two uh, cargo wagon station and it will automatically calculate how much in the storage according to that how much uh, trains can come to this station and I can decide the limit if I want to keep the limit as two I can keep it as two if I want like four trains should be coming to here then according to the uh, stuff we have collected uh, trains can be come and then the station can be enabled or disabled also so it will only enable uh, if the both of the cargo wagons can be filled so right now we can fill around you know like uh, if it is stone we can it is of the 50 as a one stack so we can fill up to the 2000 in here and 2000 in here so if uh, let's say only wagon is having this side filled with the 2000 then this train station will not be enabled so let me go and actually show you guys how this work so okay let's just go and add same situation over here and let's add the thing so as you can see uh, right now we are feeding these to uh, here and this is already filled up fully so now uh, we know uh, this is the stone so this mining post is of the stone and it will automatically send uh, once uh, we are ready uh, to get the output on this uh, cargo wagons. It means uh, whenever train comes, it should be having both of the cargo wagons to be filled. If only one cargo wagon can be filled, then this station will not enable. So no train can come. And if we are uh, having most of the, you know, like uh, cargo wagons can be filled. So it means like 2K here and 2K here, then this station will automatically enable. Not only that, it will also send me how much uh, the train is limit is. So right now, if you see my train limit is not uh, even one because we need at least 4K to make sure that uh, one train can come. So we need at least 4K material uh, available here to one st train to come. So let's just uh, this uh, goes on for time and uh, we will able to see the stuffs going on uh, so here uh, i will just add uh, this lane also to be filled over here uh, in that way we will able to see that it will also send the signal that this station is having stone and it is ready to pick up when we are having 4k stones available so right now we are having almost 600 uh, stones so once this becomes 2k uh, we are having a little bit of in our hand so let's go and drop those over there and we will able to see we got 1.3k let's go and grab some more stones uh, where it is the raw resources okay i cannot get the raw resources that's okay uh, i have to wait over here then <laughs> okay so 1.4k and this is only having 330 5k okay uh, just for the demo purpose I will fill with the 
bricks and you can see now uh, we are having 2.9 k so this cargo wagon can be filled because we are having more than 2 k and it is sending uh, as a green signal over here and this cargo wagon is not sending anything over here as you can see because it is under the 2k and you can see now uh, our limit uh, it's about to become the uh, since we are having 3.7k let's go and add more of these as you can see now we are having limit set to the one it means uh, we are having 5k of material and every single train needs 4k to be exact so uh, it can allow the one train over here but if you see uh, this station is disabled uh, this red light is over here this station is not enabled if you see that uh, this is the red light over here going on on the station also because it can only one cargo wagon can be filled it means the second cargo wagon can go empty or with the half material or with the low material so in that way we are uh, going to uh, you know like waste the fuel if we are on the long distance so it will only enable the station if we are having you know like everything to be uh, like used so until and unless this also become 2k we are not able to Go. so let's go and add a little bit of material to make it 2k so now you can see uh, this uh, all of this stuff hold the uh, stones or you can say uh, 2k material and 2k material so this is now enabled uh, we can have around one train so we are totally having the x7.4k and once it's cross the 8k we can have the two trains if cross the 12k we can have the three trains so right now one train is enabled as you can see and it shows us that one train can come and this station is enabled but as soon as this station is enabled we are sending you know what we are having the stones in our inventory so we can send the station to this supply station like we can send the train to this supply station so it is now sending the stone so if i remove this stuff from here uh, let me just drop the stone again look at that there is no signal on this electric pole as a stone so until and unless both of these cargo wagons can be filled there will not be any signals going on so this is the cool and it will automatically uh, if let's say if we are having this brick over here uh, oh my goodness okay uh, let's say we are having bricks then look at that everything has been changed now uh, instead of 4k it becomes the 8k so unless and until we are having 8k here and 8k here so it becomes like 4k here and 4k here because 100 multiplied by 40 this is the 4k it means one cargo wagon can handle 4k so you can say uh, we are having around 2.8k and 1.6k stones so let's just drop this over here so now we can see here we are having 4k so this cargo wagon can be filled out but this cargo wagon is not and we are not getting this over here let's just uh, help out with little bit of stuff so that way we will get the uh, you know like our green signal let's just so now you can see uh, the station is enabled and we are having one train can come because we are having 9.4k of total material but you see here we are able to get the brick as a signal so bricks are ready so everything whatever goes inside here that can be you know like utilized as a uh, it can be used as a uh, giving the signal so automatically it can send the signal what material we are getting from the mining post and if it is ready then train can come and it can also automatically limit the uh, train so let's go and say like uh, let me change that over here for a second and let's say uh, it is only having you know like uh, 10 as a stack uh, 7 8 9 10 uh, let me remove that so you know like one stack can hold 10 it means 400 here and 400 here total 800 and if you see now uh, we can have six trains over here so all of the lights are running let me go and increase a little bit of more let's make it like 20 so now we can have around three trains so three lights are there okay and uh, if i add 25 we can have around two trains so it will automatically calculate how many trains and i can actually go and limit so if i want uh, so right now we are having you know like uh, four let me go and remove this to the half again 
so you can see uh, we can have 10 trends coming here but this is limited to the four only so if i change it back to the two so only two trends are going to come over here so it will it doesn't matter how many trends it is allowing but it will only allow two trends so it will automatically do that stuff so if you want this blueprint uh you can get this code uh, uh from the you know like uh description i have already added this into the uh, smart supply station okay so you can actually go and grab this and put it into your game all you have to make sure that uh, you are uh, this uh, combinator output as a green wire or anything that you want to give as a red or red, uh, green say or red signal you should connect this to your network to be sure that this is connected into your network to send the signals to let others know that we are this station is ready to give this uh, thing yep and this is for this video guys if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and thank you so much guys for watching the video i will see you in the next video